team of teenagers with attitudes. What's up all you Mighty Morphin dudes and dudettes, Toy Shiz here, and I just got back from a fantastic weekend at the Power Morphicon convention in Anaheim at the Anaheim Convention Center. It ran from the 17th till today of August, and I have to say, for being a casual Power Rangers fan, this was a lot of fun. The camaraderie, the overall joy, just in talking with everyone, it was fantastic. Fantastic. We got some really cool reveals coming from Hasbro. We got some great, great show offs from Bluefin and Tamashi Nations. So much love for the Power Rangers. It's insane. When I was a little kid, I was there for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. That was my jam, man. They had so many awesome toys. And when I remember people went bonkers when that show premiered, it was part of the Fox Kids and actually kind of launched the whole Fox Kids countdown show, all that kind of stuff. It was crazy. No one really knew what to make of it. It was this. And, and it's funny. As a little kid, I didn't really understand this. My grandfather was the one that went over it and told me all this. It, of course, it's from a Japanese show called Super Sentai. They took Ham Saban. They took clips from old this old television show, repurposed it, shot it with a bunch of teenagers, i.e., you know, Jason David Frank, Amy Jo Johnson, David Yost, Austin St. John, everybody. Um it, it was just, it was wild. It was something that really no one had seen here before. There'd always been Japanese television shows, Godzilla and the like, but no one had really seen something like this. And for kids, we absolutely ate it up. We went bonkers. The toys were sold out left and right. They could not keep these things in stores. I remember going to a Toys R Us with my grandfather and there was a big sign on the door after they had advertised and he was livid, man. He went in there. He's like, how can you advertise? And I... I just remember something like, yeah, man, where's uh, where's my where's my toys at, you know? Now, it, it took a while. I remember it was months after the fact that the show premiered, but I remember my first first Power Rangers action figure was Billy. It was the Blue Ranger. I always liked Billy. I always liked the Red Ranger, man. They they were the best. Oh, man. And then, of course, the Green Ranger and subsequently the White Ranger took their places. Everybody likes them. But before it was them, it was Billy and the Red Ranger, man. They were the best. These Zords and the Zords can combine, man. And, and I had Transformers as a kid, but this was so much different. This was, you could get in these giant mechas, you could control them. It was so much fun just to see. And then they always had a moral lesson at the end. Oh, doesn't it always wrap up nicely? Billy would create some sort of doohickey that would, you know, oh, just use this and it's fine. Or the power sword would just combine with all the other weapons and you just blow the monster up. It, it was a deus ex machina every single episode, but it worked so well and kids were captivated. I know I was. With Power Morphicon, it celebrates everything about it from Pi Mighty Morphin Power Rangers up to the newest iteration. Purely Power Rangers. There's Japanese toys. There's some other things here and there, but it was purely Power Rangers, and it was just so much fun. I highly recommend it. If you can go at least one day, that's what you got to do. Now, they did announce, first of all, Power Rangers Express. This is going to be run by Jason David Frank and Scott, who runs Power Morphicon, and they're going to be doing sort of a, a bi-weekly convention for Power Rangers. It starts in 2019, and it's going to be in Pasadena, Texas. That's their first stop. And then subsequently, they're going to go through every major city doing Power Ranger stuff. And I think that's fantastic. If Anaheim, you, you can't, uh, first of all, you can't believe how many people came to this convention out of state. Even some of them have, out of country. I saw some Australian dude had picked up a bunch of those Lord Dracon figures. I've been calling them Lord Draken, by the way. Write down in the comments if I'm wrong. I, I don't know. It, it's, a, it's a fantastic character. 
I don't know too much about him in the sense that I know he's from Boom Comics and all that kind of stuff, but he was the main thing that drew people there as far as exclusives. $50 for him, and I believe it was $65 for his big throne, man. People were lined up for hours. It was incredible. They were just fawning over this figure. And again, I want to say a very, very special thank you to Scott and everyone at Power Morphicon. They were very nice. They gave me a figure of Lord Dracon to review, so I will have that out for you guys. But I just wanted to let you know, I do appreciate that very, very much. I do appreciate the support of Toy Shiz. So I will get that review to you tomorrow. That's a guarantee. Overall, I have to say in closing words, if you are a Power Rangers fan, get your butts to this convention. Check it out especially with what Hasbro's got going on. They're taking over the Power Rangers license 2019. They were cool enough. I had talked with the booth people. They gave out a few details, but nothing that they weren't going to give away. That's tightly lipped, but I love it because you can speculate and have so much fun with the sh secrets that they're sharing. But they did reveal a White Ranger prototype. It's not official just yet, but we will be getting, and that's the start of Power Rangers Lightning Series White Ranger up first, Tommy Oliver with a actual alternate head sculpt. You got Saba and I'm sure we got a few more surprises in store. It's going to be a great year next year to be a Power Rangers fan from young to old. Anyways, let me know in the comments below if you went to Power Morphicon. Let me know if you picked up a Lord Dracon figure. What did you like about the convention? Do you want to go? Are you interested in something like this next year? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything. Power Rangers. I will catch you guys soon. I hope everyone has a fantastic week. Drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, find some great action figures. There is a ton hitting stores and they're all going on sale. So be smart with your money. I'll talk to you all soon. Adios.